Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we will apply some operations on the signal. There is a rule is called as precedence rule for time shifting and scaling. Certain complex operations require simultaneous use of more than one of the operations. Like that, uh, in the last video, we have discussed about the time shifting, time, sp time scaling and time reversal. Now we will apply all these three operations together on a signal. So for that, there is one rule which, which is called a like precedence rule. According to that, we will apply the operation. So we should know which operation we should apply first at the time scaling or time shifting or time reversal. So there is a criteria. If we have a signal x a t minus v, so first we will apply the time shift x t by v. So we will get x t minus v. Then we will apply the time scaling on the shifted signal. That means time is scaling on the signal x t minus b. Then we will get x a t minus b because t will be replaced by a t. If a is negative, consider if a is negative, then we will need, we'll need to apply the time reversal also. If a is negative, we will apply the time reversal also on the scaled and shifted signal. So signal x t we have, if we apply the time shifting first, we will get x t minus b. After that, if we apply the time scaling, we will get x a t minus v that we required like that we have a signal we have a given one signal x t we want to sketch the signal x 2 t minus 3 so in that case first we need to shift the signal by 3 then we will apply the scaling by 2 so we will solve some problem here one by one so first problem is that we have given a signal x t we will have to apply operation x 2 t minus 2 so here we can see that we will have to apply two operations. One is the time shifting, other one is the time scaling. Okay. So first we will apply time shifting according to the precedence rule. So this is the XT signal we have given. This is the signal XT we have given. We will apply the shifting operations here. Here we have given XT minus 2. So if you remember, if signal is shifted by 2, given as t minus 2 so that signal will be shifted by the right side okay so signal will be shifted by x2 towards the right side because signal is represented by x t minus 2 so this signal will be shifted towards the right side after that we will apply the time scaling that will compress or expect according to the value of a if a is greater than 1 or x a t the signal will compress by 2 so here first we will apply the time shifting Initially signal is given like this x t starting from minus 1 ending from 1 after beyond that range signal is 0. So this signal will shift it to the shift it towards the right side by time 2. Initially signal was at starting at minus 1 now it will start minus 1 plus 2 that means it will start from 1. And signal was initially ending at 1 here you can see that now this signal will and at 1 plus 2 that will be a 3 and center of the signal was 0 now the center of the signal is 2 so whole the signal and magnitude is same and width is also same only the same signal is shifted towards the right side by a factor of 2 now we will apply the scaling in this case scaling is scaled by 2 signal is scaled by 2 means it will compressed if we have signal x a t just i will recall it at I will recall here, if signal is x of a t, this is the compressed signal, compressed. Signal is x of t divided by a, this signal will be expand signal, expansion. And in both conditions, a should be greater than 1. So in our case, x a t is satisfying where a is equal to 2. So this will compress by factor of 2. So whatever we are getting after the shifting will divide this whole the time axis by 2 will get the signal at that location that means now signal will start from 0 0.5 here you can see that signal is starting at 0 0.5 and its mean value will be at 2 divided by 2 center will be at 1 and the signal will end at 3 divided by 2 that means it will be end at 1.5 so here initially it has 0 0.5 center value is 1 and signal is ending at 1.5 so this is the precedence rule First, we will apply the shifting by factor of 2, then we will apply 
scaling by factor of 2 in this problem and here t is positive so there is no time reversal property applying here if t is negative then we will apply the time reversal but here t is positive okay one most important thing if we have a given signal like that same signal x of 2 p minus 1 okay so in that case please keep remember here we will not have to shift by 1 first we need to make this signal as x of 2 t minus 2 represent x of 2 bracket t minus 1 as it x of 2 t minus 2 don't consider as a x of a t minus b here consider x a t minus b now we'll see another problem which is x of 2 t minus 3 okay same kind of the signal is here x of 2 t minus 3 we will have to apply on the given signal x t the signal is starting at 0 and ending at 2 what we will do first we will apply the shifting operation here by amount of 3 the same signal will start at 0 plus 3 okay and this 2 will reach at 2 will go to 2 plus 3 so it will be the signal will start from 3 and end at 5 after shifting operation now we have scaling y2 so we will divide all the things by 2 correct so this will be the operation after applying precedence rule first we will shift the signal then we will apply the scale now let's see here so here we are getting 1.5 and ending at 2.5 just look at here t minus 3 then we will apply the scaling so at when apply the shifting we start from 3 and signal will start at 5 end at 5 after shifting operation signal will start at 3 and signal will end at 5 where after applying the scaling scale y factor of 2 t is multiplied by 2 so here in this case this signal is the compressed one so it will reduce the width so now signal will start at 3 divided by 2 to 5 divided by 2 so signal width is reducing in this case previously width was 2 now its width is 1 1.5 to 2.5 so width is reduced by factor of 2 and here again we don't have any uh, reversal property because t is positive let's see one more problem here we are applying the time reversal also signal is given as minus 3t plus 8 signal is given as xt and we have to sketch the signal for x minus 3t plus 8 in this problem we will have to sketch the signal for x minus 3t plus 8 for given signal xt signal is starting at minus 3 ending at 7 okay and it is signal it looks like the triangle now what we will do first we will apply the shifting operation but here you remember this here in this case this is the plus plus means signal will shift to the left side plus means signal will shift to the left side by the amount of 8 in the previous question there was minus sign that's why signal was shifting to the right but here signal is shifting to the left by amount of 8 because plus sign is given here so if we add 8 here uh, if we shift towards the left side that means we will subtract 8 here minus 8 and 7 minus 8 shifting towards the left that's how we are subtracting its uh, time index value will be uh, less compared to the previous given signal so minus 3 minus 8 will be minus 11 7 minus it will be minus 1. So this is the shifted signal which is the xt plus 8 or left, shif left shifted signal. Now we will apply the scaling by factor of 3. So we will divide this thing by 3. Minus 11 divided by 3 and minus 1 divided by 3. With the signal looks like same. What, but thing is that only width is compressing. Width is reducing. So it is minus 11 by 3 and signal ending at minus 1 divided by 3. Now in the problem we have given minus also here. In negative in minus what was the signal I'll write here again because uh, there is some writing there x minus 3t plus 8 so we did x3 xt plus 8 after that we did x3t plus 8 now we have to revert invert the signal time inversion is there here so what we will do we use the time inversion property that hold the signal whatever signal we have in the negative side will get the same signal in the positive side and whatever signal we have in the positive side, we will get the same signal. In the negative side in the time reversal property. For more detail about the individual property, you watch my previous video. 
the details of the video is given in the description so previously signal was x3 plus 8 now we'll have to hold it so it will start at 1 by 3 and it will end at 11 by 3 whatever value we had at minus 1 by 3 we will get the same value at 1 by 3 after time reversal whatever value we had at minus 11 by 3 we will get the same value at 11 by 3 so its pattern is going like this in this negative side so this is the precedence rule you keep in mind don't confuse about the what we will have to apply first you remember time shifting scaling and inversion but make sure that you write Function in this way. Make sure that you write function in this way. X of minus a t plus minus b plus minus b. X of minus a t plus b. X of minus a t minus b. X of a t minus b. Or x of minus x of a t plus b. Always you write or uh, expression in this way. So what we will do, I will explain things. In this case, x of minus at plus b, if signal it looks like this, the signal will shift to the left side, then we scaled by factor of a, then we will take the reversal here. And in the second, x minus at minus b, here first we will apply the shifting, the signal will shift to the right side, then we will apply the scaling property, then we will apply the time reversal. In third case, first we will shift the signal by factor of b towards the right side then we will apply the scaling but here a re reversal will not uh, will apply because negative sign is not there but t is positive here in the same same way last one signal will shift to the left side by b then it will be scaled by factor of a and here t is positive so we don't need to apply the inversion property thank you for watching this video 